Okay, well welcome guys. Um, this is your first run on our new Corsair 760. Yeah. And let's, let's meet the, uh, the crew at any rate. So Steve, our skipper. How are you? Um, expert sailor, F-18, tornadoes, and now trimarines in it's particular. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't told my wife yet, but... Uh, oh, okay. But we are going to leave it in your backyard tonight. Yes, yeah. May, we'll, may we'll never see. leave. We'll see what the reaction <laughs> is. And Michelle, and you're in the, uh, the F-17s, the Nacras, yep. and enjoying life on trimarans. Yes, yes, it was very, very nice. Your um, latest little creation is in a stealth. Yeah, yeah, so I've sort of started a few off the beach boats for the first time in a trimaran, and it's been fantastic. And an S17 expert as well. Yeah, we've started the knacker a bit as well, so yeah, yeah, it's good. So at the end of the day, they're pretty well credentialed sort of guys, but when we asked them to sail on this Corsair, there was a tiny bit of nervousness. Oh, there was, particularly when the uh, when the breeze really filled in. Yeah, by that he means when it was 25 knots with a bit of uh, wave action and coming down when was spinnaker thereabouts. That's right, yes. <laughs> But the boat performed how? Uh, performed very well. Uh, very, very stable. Uh, handled very, very uh, good manners. Um, we're obviously initially uh, nervous. I uh, wasn't really sure how it steered down the waves. Never sailing a, never had sailed a trimaran before. Especially, and yeah, you know, like putting up a 600 and something square foot kite in 25 knots with two metre chop on Port Phillip. That's pretty terrifying. But the boat really handled it well. With full main sail up as well. Yeah, yeah, fully powered up. It's not a problem handle it. Mm. And so what, what would you say, Robbie, was the best aspect of the boat? What, what impressed you more than what you anticipated? Yeah, I think the new floats actually, I think they really help the boat get upwind with good speed. It doesn't seem to bog down as much as some of the other boats that we were watching. So we had a really good speed upwind in that big, big seaway, big breeze. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's so stable and so forgiving. It's, it's a hard boat to, uh, to trip over on, that's for sure, and um, yeah, it, it's quite fast, yeah, and fun, really fun. And what about you, Michelle, which was your most fun part? I think the funnest part was either sitting up on the windward float upwind, going through these big chop and you're just pretty much dry, and the right. boat's just trucking through the waves really nicely, and downwind sitting to leeward, um, you're not scared like on a Nacra 17 or F18 sticking the bow in, it's just really comfortable. You can sit wherever you want. Really good stuff. And Steve? Uh, for me, I was very impressed with uh, how user friendly the, uh, the boat was, all the systems. Uh, it was very, very clean, well laid out. Uh, I can definitely see um, going cruising, racing with it, and putting, the, uh, putting my two little um, girls on board and uh, taking them for a sail. And uh, it's, it's, it's a very versatile boat. It's, uh, it can be a family boat, a, a cruising boat, and also a, uh, and also satisfy the um, the racing urge that uh, mm -hmm. racers get as well. Uh, the one thing we didn't mention, by the way, is at the end of six races, uh, you won one race, a pretty impressive one actually, against some pretty impressive boats, and overall came fourth, only missing third by 0.2 of a point, I think. Uh, no, by two points. So two it, was, points. it was very tight at the top. I think yeah. uh, first place was. Um, Tai on 12 points, then second place was Snot on uh, 13 points, Picadillo on 13 points, and us on 15 points. So, uh, so the second try over the second the series, line, yeah. and um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was great racing. Uh, had some obviously got better throughout the uh, the event as we slowly got to um, get to know the boat. Uh, the first uh, first race uh, or first couple of races were a bit uh, a bit rusty. Didn't know what strings to pull, what each of us were going to do on the boat, and we slowly found our place and become faster and faster. And uh, the boat um, the boat, whilst it handles well in um, in the light stuff, uh, it really liked the heavy stuff. Uh, it loves um, loves the wind and it loves the waves uh, as far as being uh, competitive against the other tries, and uh, and handles it really well. So looking forward to next weekend. Definitely, yeah. So the um, the Festival of Sails, uh, we'll have um, Great Good all on board, and uh, we will start off with a passage race from Williamstown down to uh, down to Geelong, with a forecast of a light easterly, slowly filling into a uh, I think so about a 15 knot southeasterly. So uh, should be good. Hopefully a uh, 
a special for a handicap as well. Yeah, fantastic. Fill in late. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for your time this weekend, and we're really impressed with how you handled the boat. And we liked the smiles when you came back, so that, that made <laughs> us feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah, as well as a few of the your, your competitors that came up and had a bit of a, a bit of a look look see. Mm. Quite a few of them wanted to take the floats with them. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> fortunately, they're up there. Folded on pretty well. So. Well, they can take the floats, but it comes with the rest of the boat, I guess. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'd like to also thank uh, our shore crew of, uh, of uh, Michael and John. Uh, did an outstanding job. Uh, thank you for bringing the boat down as well and uh, and running around with uh, doing all the little uh, bits and pieces needing to launch and keep the boat running. Uh, thank you, uh, Brent Vaughan, uh, for uh, letting us borrow the boat. Um, I've got to return the favour on the tornado uh, very, very soon, no doubt. And thank you uh, to Michelle and Robbie for sailing with me. Um, did an absolutely outstanding job, so thank you. Very good. Uh, my name's Steve Medwell. I race out of the uh, Port Melbourne uh, Yacht Club. I'm Michelle Bursa, I race out of Summers Yacht Club. And I'm Robbie Levy from Western Port and Summers Yacht Club. Thank you very much. And Michael from Multi Hall Central, Corsair. Closing off.